other people. It'll be fun and free. And when you're doing that, I think you're really on. When you're self-conscious, people know it, they feel it, and it's just a big bore. In the beginning of any of one of my projects, I kind of feel a little tedious about starting it. I mean, even my paintings, I always kind of feel like, oh, here I go, I have to start this thing, and I don't know how to do it. I get really kind of depressed, and I get nervous. You have to have that feeling of thinking, you know, what I do is important, at least in this moment. I think what I do is fun, and it brings me a lot of joy to create the art that I do. And I think if I can pass that joy and, and happiness and love onto someone else, I think I've done something good for the world. I pretty much always wanted to be an artist. I really don't think I could do anything else. I didn't really apply to any colleges other than art colleges. My inspiration is largely drawn from historical subjects. I would like to make enough money off my paintings to be a working artist. I create because it's a compulsion, because I, I can't help but do it. Creating is one of the most positive things that I think a person can do. When I don't create something, I become very sort of slothful and depressed. I think an overall theme for the kind of work that I do is celebration. I like to make things that are celebratory. A lot of the material I work with focuses on bodies and people, and particularly friends of mine in drag, you know, and just things that are colorful and over the top and bright. If somebody told me that I couldn't make art, I would have to do it anyway. I try not to take myself too seriously, and my art reflects that. Everything is with great humor, I started creating out of necessity. I went to acting school, and instead of being a waitress, I found I had some talent making things and got work creating things for other people, and then I found joy in that and created things for myself. I hope my audience experiences my work and leaves feeling a little bit different, that they've learned something or were amused or had some kind of emotional response because everything I do is highly interactive and you're meant to touch it, feel it, roll around in it, shoot at it, you know, get involved. I never plan a piece of sculpture. I just start striking that piece of wood and I find something in it and I go from there and see relationships. It's just an urge that comes out of your inside and it's lasted and the excitement is still there and if I don't get a gallery I will go back to that garage and work until I die. I don't have a set plan before I start something I just get a piece of paper and I start to work. This series that I'm working on right now, it's called The Internal Search for Wisdom, and it's basically exploring the relationship between intuitive work and your internal thoughts and, and what's happening inside of you while you're working. I think that a person really can't be removed from their art because they're the creator of it. It originates from them, so there is no separation from art and artists. I think that my work is an expression of everything that's that's just in me, that just, you know, flows while I'm working, I and mean, it just comes straight from my heart. As an artist, I'm very much inspired by the research and the work that's being done in the medical world. While some people might characterize I am who I am our projects for a as uh, <laughs> being somewhat pejorative in terms of criticizing the medical world, I see it as a foil. It's a really way of extrapolating existing technologies and seeing what it might be 10, 20 years from now. Most of the more controversial projects revolving around reproductive technology have been utilized by faculty and staff in other universities as a way of discussing bioethics and addressing concerns that people have with new biotechnologies. Half of what I wear is my mother. My mother was a go-go dancer in the 60s, so it's all her go-go costumes. That's what got me started into all this. My photography is rooted in ideas of performance, gender, and identity. My aim for the work is to increase, you know, transgender visibility and to create histories. Okay, I will be that and I will be music.
An artist can only do uh, three things. Uh, the first thing is you have to trust in yourself. And if you uh, uh, trust in yourself, yeah, you have to then just follow your interests. And if you trust in yourself, follow your interests, then you focus on that. And uh, that's it. It's not easy for eight individuals who are used to working on their own to this get together me. and I'm succeed in a joint project. We decided oh, we would arrange this, a visit with for. Deb this, Singer, this the director of The Kitchen, who's one of the best curators of New Art New York and someone stars. with a lot of experience Not in perfect, producing perfect art performance look. projects. Jeffrey sent me over to it. say I hi, you guys. I, love it. I hear I love you're it. working Fire. on a group project. Pass. For the art parade, since I'm a curator working in visual arts and performance, I thought maybe I could be a resource for you guys. Fantastic. So, yeah. Yo, man. Y'all see why I like the great man. I've been watching this, you know what I'm saying, for, I don't know, a day or two. But, uh, this is, you no know saying, like, just me, man. What I've been doing since I was five, man. And, uh, sketching, doing poetry, uh, battle rapping, freestyling, all that, man. You no know saying, and I'm, I'm good at it, man. I ain't the best, you no know saying, but I'm good at it, man. I'm, I'm confident in myself. You know what I'm saying? To know that I'm, I'm good at what I do, man. You know what I'm saying? And anybody, you know what I'm saying, that is good at what they do, then then, then y'all should just be like, damn, man. I should do this, man. I should do it. I should do it. I should do it. I don't, I don't know nothing else, man. You know what I'm saying? So, this is what I do, man. I don't know nothing else. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm trying to get a job right now, you know what I'm saying, from five, six, seven, eight different places, you know what I mean, or whatever. I mean, it, it, it's more than that now. I'm putting out application after application after application, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. But still, I mean, I, st I still want to be a artist, man. I still, still want to do music. I still want to write books and plays, you know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying, get paid right now, man, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to know what I'm saying, like, work, even if it's, if, if it's not a job that, you know what I'm saying, I ain't good at it right away, you know what I mean, I will work hard for it, you know what I'm saying, because that's what I, you know what I'm saying, do, I work hard sometimes, you know what I'm saying, sometimes I, I, I slack off, I slack off, you know what I'm saying, but, Still, at the end of the day, I do say that's what's up with this, and that what's up with that. You know what I'm saying? But I am Tawan Walker, an Alphonse nigga. Alphonse nigga, getting bigger and stronger. I'm getting cooler and calmer. I will put you in a cooler, so you, I will put you in a cooler, so you will be so ice cold, freezing, frozen. <laughs> then you will be an iceberg titanic bring down the iceberg titanic 1912 this is 2012 man 100, 100 years later <laughs> look at me <laughs> my mom's behavior Damn. I'm not mindless, okay. I got all these thoughts in my mind, okay. So I'm doing it, so I'm more than okay. I'm healthy, so I'm drinking my orange, orange juice, OJ. I be killing folks with these lyrics, OJ Simpson, Nicole. But y'all can't kill, murder any of my goals, my ambitions. Because 
man. I'm so damn ambitious. Fire.